Many businesses continue to put out the hiring sign. The Labor Department says restaurants and bars added 25,000 jobs in April. Healthcare also brought on 40,000 workers. And several states are experiencing record low unemployment, including Mississippi, where this job placement firm is seeing higher demand. We can definitely notice the uptick here of people wanting to work. Overall, the U.S. economy added a better than expected 253,000 jobs last month, and the unemployment rate ticked down to 3.4 percent, a 54-year low. But the positive numbers come with a caveat, because revised data for February and March show hiring was much weaker than previously estimated. I think the labor market is actually in transition right now. So we are seeing that job growth is starting to moderate. Growth is moderating because many corporations are letting people go. The e-commerce platform Shopify is cutting 20% of its staff. And 3M, the company behind Post-it notes and Scotch tape, is laying off 6,000 workers globally. The murky labor picture complicates the Federal Reserve strategy of raising interest rates to slow the economy and inflation. The Fed doesn't want to say this out loud. What they really hope for is job losses, the unemployment rate rising, and wage growth moderating. This week, Chairman Jerome Powell indicated a possible pause on future rate hikes, but insisted the board will boost rates again if needed. Astrid Martinez, CBS News, New York.